broken. Oof. Already recording. How are you feeling, Mr. Boucher? Uh, I would say a little bit the same as before you go on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for a piece you never played. Right. <laughs> uh, this is definitely a piece you've never played. Exactly. <laughs> ah, mommy. Three, two, one. Run, 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 run. Woohoo! Perfect. Fantastic. David, you're from Valis, and there's a strong music tradition there. As strong as this wind. As strong as the wind we just flew into. <laughs> and I know there's a lot of wind bands, brass bands and stuff. And how, how did you start playing? So I started playing uh, when I was six. Uh -huh. The old family was playing in the village band. And I lost my father when I was uh, four and he was playing the trumpet, the trombone. And um, as a small kid, I think those two instruments were still in the living room and uh, I wanted to start. And then my mother found it a private teacher, Jean-Charles Dorsin, uh -huh. a fantastic teacher, a, f a phenomenal, uh, uh, how you say, I mean, big motivation. But then my family, we moved next to Lausanne. So when, with the age of 10, I started the conservatory with a great teacher, René Vouillamont, who was the bass drummer of your orchestra. Actually, he was, the, uh, yes. he was sitting on your chair, my friend. See, yeah, 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 a long yeah. time ago. A long, a time, long ago. time ago. And uh, he was uh, pushing me up, always telling me like, man, you're the best, you're the best. So really boom, giving me a lot of air to, pl to blow l louder and, and nicely. <laughs> and, uh, and then one day they needed a banda for the opera in Lausanne, mm -hmm. and I could start to play the banda for La Traviata. Yeah. And uh, for me, it was a, a world opening. I mean, the, this seeing this, I, I was not in classical music at all. I would play in a band, and that's it, playing bluebells or this ty type oh, yeah, of music. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. But then uh, the opera world, I, I fall in love with the Violetta in La Traviata. And I went home and I said, like, the, that's what I'm going to do. And I, and I was 15 and my mother said, no, oh, no, no. But then that's what I did. Do you have any, I don't know, mem memories or anecdotes or, or things from Bobo or from the Berlin Academy or also studying in so the, the, New York? Yeah, so, so when, when I, I was lucky enough to be able to have lessons in uh, the first a little bit in, in uh, United States, uh, Chicago, Boston, and New York, and then a bit more with Joe Alessi. Yeah. New York was fantastic. Coming from a small village in Valise and then getting to, to New York. I remember the first lesson I had to cancel it because I didn't understand that Broadway uh, 110 was not meant to be Broadway number 110. <laughs> it was Broadway crossing 110th or 108th. I mean, <laughs> well, where is Julian? Jul Jul welcome you know? to New York. Yeah, there you and go. so I had to, to cancel because otherwise I would have been 40 minutes too late. That was the first anecdote of a small guy going in a big city. <laughs> okay. uh, Bobo, I remember the day when, when he showed me the difference of articulation. Yeah. And uh, Bobo being a, a big guy, <laughs> He, uh, he threw me out of the chair when he showed me what it meant to play Marcato. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I came out of the chair, I, I fall down the chair. <laughs> so sure. that was, and then I understood what is Marcato <laughs> and what is Dolce. And, uh, so that, <laughs> so that he was, a very, I mean, a good pedagogue because he was very clear in his, uh, in his words. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so you. You joined the Zurich Opera House and you're there for, I think, two years? No, I was uh, in the Zurich Opera almost 10 years. Oh, so long? Yes, I was 96 and then I, I resigned in 2005 to go teach in uh, Germany in Detmold, or if you're Musik uh, right. in Detmold. It was a fantastic, I mean, that's a very little town, but a great, uh, a great m music school. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy that very much, but maybe unluckily for my time in, in Detmold, then I, um, in the same time, Michael Bertoncello, who was holding the principal position of the, the Tonale Orchestra, resigned, and they needed somebody very fast to play for Alpha Season. 
I see. And I see. I, they knew I had some time that I, I, I was not performing in this time. And then I, I played one season with them. And first season was amazing. It was recording Malo 3, Malo 1, Malo 2, playing Bolero, playing Pulcinella, Mal, uh, Brahms 2, uh, Schumann 2. I, I mean, a fantastic season. That's, that's, it's hard, as a solo trombone player, it's hard to get a better season than that. Exactly. No. And then I decided to take the audition and uh, I, I practice. And, uh, oh, that's and then luckily they, they were happy with, my, with the, the, this result and I got the position that I'm now holding since. 15 years. Yeah. Wow. And time flies. Time like, flies. Like <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. I mean, I don't want to think what, what I'm doing now, but, but it's, <laughs> it, it's nice. It's a good distraction it's talking nice. about your, uh, your musical uh, yeah, activities. Maybe. maybe. Um, and of course, David Zinman was the, was the chief conductor of uh, the Tone Hall when you joined, and yes. you, you recorded all the Mahler symphonies with him and many other things, and tours. Yeah, we did all Mahler symphony, all Brahms symphony, all Schubert symphony with him, and uh, I did one number of, of the Strauss playing the bass trumpet in Macbeth. I see. From Strauss. And yes. did his uh, conducting have an influence on you to become a conductor? I suppose yes. Yes, of course. I mean, uh, he's, he's so so precise. A lot of, of I mean, you know, he's one of the conductors with the biggest repertoire that I would know. Yeah. And even I mean, some something fantastic in his last season, he learned the the the, the Rouse Tromon Concerto that I wanted to play, and he had to learn it. And he learned it for me, and that's a, that's a shit. I mean, that's, that's a fantastic uh, piece. But second movement to conduct and also to learn. I mean, that's with all the, the yeah. 11, 12s, uh, 11, 18s. I mean, that's, third, that's, I mean, it's that's very, very difficult. Very cool. That's very, yeah. very and that's kind I, of him. I did appreciate. I mean, and so that's one side, and knowing all the, the scores so well, knowing also the psychology of, of the players. It was fantastic uh, working with him. And then I was lucky enough that he invited me to be part of the American Academy of Conducting at Aspen. In Aspen, yes. It right. was 2007 when I had luck to be there for nine, uh, nine weeks. My wife was not so happy that I had gone. You know, we got married actually. It's a beautiful place. It's a nice yes, place. Yes, but she but... didn't come with, uh, with uh... me. And uh, we got married in 2007 in May, and I left in June for nine weeks. I think it's very bad husband. Oh, but oh, she's still with. But she's still with still you. Together hey, and we have together. Fantastic time. <laughs> yeah. um, and then. Uh, after Aspen, after studying and conducting a little bit, then you became the conductor of the uh, Jungen Symphony Orchestra in Zurich, the Youth yeah. Symphony Orchestra in Zurich. I mean, that's big luck. To, and, to, yeah. and you guys are quite active. You're doing how many projects a year now? So we do two or three projects a year. That's all over, I mean, we, we one project would mean like four repetition of a concert, between three and five repetition of a concert. We work together. Uh, uh, with, with the Tonale Orchestra, we have the, um, my colleague of the orchestra coaching also the young people. It's a, it's a fantastic uh, thing to do, so much energy. So I'm, I'm very lucky to mix those three different activities of performing trombone in orchestra, uh, teaching uh, pro young professionals and then conducting uh, a bit, yeah, y y younger people. You actually have a concert tonight with the orchestra, right? Yes. So <laughs> I mean, if you like, we could take the, the fast way down, you know? No, 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 no. Right. Are you sure? What, no, what time is no, it? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, all shit. All right, all right. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I, won't, I won't go into so, the spiral. I, you, 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 you got me. You got me. <laughs> really, you got me. Man, wow, wow, wow. Thank you very much for joining me. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you later. Hey, guys, take care. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Stand up a little bit. Yeah, and we're going to come in nice and slow. Just like that. Perfect. Wow. Step back, step back, step back, step back, step back, step back. Yoo-hoo! All right. Uh, yeah. Get that out of the, exactly. So to stop is the red button, right? Red button, yeah.